This week, Senate Democrats held a hearing about artificial intelligence technology and ideas for regulation. In this space, with these fast breakthroughs and few rules, the hearing echoes many conversations about this kind of tech today. There's fears about abuse. There's a whole range of examples from automating jobs and things that might save time to upending national security or how the police do their jobs. And we hear a lot of kind of general platitudes. Well, tonight we turn to news in one specific way that artificial intelligence technology is changing our world, and it is absolutely remarkable. Current medical technology can gather rich information about brain activity. We knew that. But now, artificial intelligence language models are providing a new breakthrough to interpret that brain information. New research shows that the tech can help read people's private thoughts, that the science plus the tech enables mind reading. Let me say that news again, because sometimes around here we just report the news, we run right through it, and, and you kind of need to realize what we're learning. And I'm going to show you exactly what we mean by this, but researchers are accurately performing some human mind reading. They can translate a person's brain activity into a continuous stream of text. So then that text corresponds to what the researchers can determine people are thinking. And this is from formal results from a research team at the University of Texas at Austin. Now, the new option raises all kinds of possibilities. One of the first is a medical priority that this can enable people who are currently paralyzed or completely physically impaired to basically get a brand new lease on communicating. The researchers focused on picking up attempted speech of people who have lost the ability to speak or using these tools to help paralyze people, in a sense, right by thinking of writing. So the tech is using scans of brain blood flow, and it basically trains this translator or this decoder of that brain information. And they do this by having participants consume videos to map their reactions and basically the intended words their brain would pick about what they're seeing. The researchers are using the brand data to become this translator of the subject. And this has successfully used brain activity to accurately describe events from the videos, meaning it works, they're doing this. So the stuff in your brain that drives you to pick a word, that's kind of what happens before the word, can actually be now read through these sophisticated artificial intelligence language models, hence mind reading. Now, this is a dazzling actual, appliable type of technology that's here right now. Scientists see a potential to give a voice to the voiceless, like those paralyzed individuals I just mentioned. Others look down the road, especially at how fast this is going, and they see the prospect of a powerful and invasive technology here. And let's remember, I mentioned this earlier in the show, the power of mind reading has long been a sci-fi fascination, upending society to the idea that if you could read minds, the government would have huge tools of potential control, like that famous Tom Cruise movie, imagining a government that can solve and then prevent crimes by reading people's minds and plans in advance. What's coming? Double homicide, one male, one female. Killer's male, white, 40. Set up a perimeter and tell them we're on route. I'm placing you under arrest for the future murder of Sarah Marks. All we have to run on are the images that they produce. We see what they see. There hasn't been a murder in six years. There's nothing wrong with the system. It is perfect. I agree. We are arresting individuals who have broken no law. But they will. The fact that you prevent it from happening doesn't change the fact that it was going to happen. That was a movie. But back here in reality, this new tech is already raising what we might call non-fiction questions. The New York Times proposing scenarios like a future where a private unvoiced impression of your best friend's new partner could be seized. Someone could listen in on it without your consent or knowledge. Or as with those movies, a police state where authorities could eavesdrop on your mental state without your consent, as Vox put it. When you look, Zeke, at these breakthroughs, uh, as mentioned, great promise uh, for people in very tough uh, ind individual situations, medical breakthroughs, um, but great concerns out there, especially with no rules or laws yet, 
uh, about what else can happen. How do you view this? Well, I'm actually a little pessimistic about it because I think uh, we have great intentions to uh, have therapeutic advances and to really help people. There's no doubt that's what's motivating this research. But we have seen a lot of uh, big tech going and being out of our control. And by our control, I don't mean just Americans' control. I mean all of humanity's control.